Starting to record now. What's this character name again? Gorak. 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 Yes. What we're going to do is everybody is starting out from Neverwinter because you guys uh, stayed the night in order mm -hmm. to pet shop. Pet shop. get to the pet shop because Glower wanted so badly to purchase a pet. Mm. Remy. Yes. Remy but Tinkleton. instead he was able to find a rat that was just kind of chilling on the street. And My he, need is not satisfied. He did an extremely good job at uh, <laughs> enticing it to come to him, and then it just chilled with him. <laughs> so he currently has a rat. I forgot about the rat. Named Remy Jockness Templeton. So what I'm going to have happen is it is now morning of the next day. Um, Gorak, you're going to make it to, oh my gosh, I want to call him Gunderson so bad, Gundren, because <laughs> remember we changed his name, uh, Gundren's warrior or fighter? Uh, fighter. Fighter, you're a level one fighter. Wait, can we have Gundren read out the character sheet so we can get a better understanding? Hold on, just one second. Gorak. 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 Gundren. Yeah, Gundren's the dwarf. NPC. Yeah, I'll I'll explain or I'll ask him to to describe his character in just a moment. Um, this is for his information because I haven't given him all of his uh, details just yet. Uh, yeah, so we're dialing you back to level one. <laughs> and we yeah, exactly. You guys are all level one. And so Gundren had given you notice to come to his workshop. But what we're going to say is actually uh, you were running late because of whatever unforeseen issues. So as the group is waking up and getting themselves together, they hear a knock at the door. When they open up the door, whoever decides to open the door... You see... Oh, is that my cue? <laughs> yes, that is. Uh, okay, Gorak is like a, a half-orc. He's green, um, black hair, muscular, large, orcish, has a big war hammer slung over his back, um, and, and is clearly just very pleased with himself. Yes. <laughs> and who does Gorak see standing in a doorway? Okay, it's going to be <laughs> Glower. Glower has has opened the door and is staring you in the face. What does he see, uh, Glower? So, my character is an elf who has like skin like this completely like void black. Uh, I wear a purge mask at all times <laughs> and uh, dark clothing. <laughs> I have a rat on my shoulder. Oh, so it's Remy, Remy, Remy's on your shoulder. You see this kind of scraggly looking rat just chilling on his shoulder. Gorak <laughs> takes notice of uh, the void black skin and the rat on his shoulders and asks the others, "Is he plague stricken?" Oh. <laughs> oh, he has a plague of the mind sometimes. Oh, okay. Constipated. Ooh. So that would have came out of the lovely Finny, which we, we're not sure if Finny is a boy or a girl just yet. A menace, a menace, just call, just call it a menace. Um, either way, Finny has this really big, unhinged-looking smile. It, they, they, they can't stop smiling, it's their natural face. They have a navy blue dark robe that looks really ripped up and used with really messy hair and is barefoot. <laughs> so Finny's barefoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and behind these two, you see two very small people. <laughs> Three to four feet. Three to four foot tall, yes. What do you look like, Tough Nut? Uh, I'm a person with, you know, glasses. You're wearing mad, glasses? Mad scientist, basically. Oh, I, you have goggles on, okay. With a battle axe, chilling in my hand. No? And I have a 
crossbow, which is my favorite crossbow. It's your favorite crossbow. Now, what type of uh, what race are you? I'm a gnome. <laughs> the twins are gnomes. <laughs> All right, Rough Nut, you want to describe yourself? Uh, yes, I am Tough Nut's twin. I am also a gnome. <laughs> and a short little, I'm a short little hermit of a cleric. Cleric of a hermit. And I always have my herb kit with me. You do have your... And my little your... briefcase. You do. I do. <laughs> and I've got long black hair and a stellar purple chain mail dress outfit and my long green cloak yes in you case do. i need to camouflage myself all right so last time oh, i yes. didn't get a chance to give you this but the bag of holding Ooh. which currently tough nut is holding and you actually have these sending stones you have sending stones because Ooh. Ooh. you have a trade relationship with hiccup he he runs burke acquisitions <laughs> mm. and since you guys or since you specifically being a hermit you like to roam around a lot in, in the wild you come across very special magical herbs or oddities and you're like oh hey this might be useful or worth something to somebody so you have this trade relationship with hiccup now in order to use the sending stones uh the directions are right there on the back they just you have to cast the sending spell. And so you would hold it in your hand, cast a spell. And it's almost like a telephone where if nobody's on the other end, they won't answer. <laughs> Somebody needs to be holding it in order to activate it. And you do not, you do not uh, waste a spell if, if they don't answer. So you can only use it once per day until you sleep for the night and then dawn the next morning you're able to use it sweet so i can text message once a day exactly yep Ugh. and they can contact that's you in the same <laughs> <laughs> yep that's your limit can we access social media instead no. nope <laughs> that's the lovely thing about this world you literally have very little access to long distance communications all right gorak you are standing in the doorway and this party of four is currently staring at you. Uh, well, if you're not going to invite me, and I guess I'll just walk in and get comfortable. I want to invite him. <laughs> I never knew that was an option. What's up? Okay, I'm sorry. Who are you? And why are you just prancing into our... Okay, make yourself at home, I guess. <laughs> You've not heard of me? I've not heard uh, of you, I'm no. Korak, the mighty defender of Golden Fields one of the most renowned mercenaries this world has ever known and Gundren has hearing that I am in the region sent for me do we know Gundren? yeah Gundren is his bus his bestie remember oh, that's your friend then <laughs> we're in Gundren's shop right yes, now yes you are okay. he had uh, asked you guys to go and bring his mining stuff to Phandalin yeah. oh yeah yep that was what was happening I'll last time <laughs> Gundren sent for you. Why didn't he let us know that you would be coming? I, I can't speak as to Gundren's motivations on these things. <laughs> I barely know the man. He simply heard that I was in the area, being so renowned uh, and of such high repute as a warrior. He, and he sent for me. I'm simply here for a job. Okay. All right. We just happen to have a job. <laughs> We're on a mission. Um, so, okay. everybody gets all packed up. Uh, I imagine you guys would have gotten... The pet shop. The pet store is not open. No, you got your rat. Let's go. <laughs> we don't need another pet. We are skipping town, bud. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they don't open until, like, afternoon. Mm -hmm. But you guys would have been long gone. All right. So, you guys start heading out of uh, Neverwinter. And during this traveling time, is there anything that you guys would like to discuss and or do? for the next three-ish days. Three days? Mm -hmm. Wow, well, we're That's traveling. A lot of days. Actually, it takes even longer to get to where you're going, but wow. during this, I'm trying to fast forward it to where something would have happened. But during this downtime of you guys uh, traveling, would you guys have discussed anything? Found oh, out anything? Uh, on my voice, because, like, I need some naps. Do we have horses? 
<laughs> yes, you have two that are pulling the cart. Oh, okay. So, I'm napping. I'm napping. Pulling mm -hmm. taking So, Tough Nut is currently just dozing off on one of the horses. <laughs> and I don't know where everybody else is uh, located currently. There's one more open horse, and there's plenty of space I'm on in... I'm horse. Okay, so Glower as well as... <laughs> he called it first. So Glower and Tough Nut are on the horses, and I imagine everybody else is either in the cart or walking alongside. I'm walking alongside Tough Nut to make sure he doesn't fall off the horse with his dozing. Very good. I'm looking out for my bro. Do you want to be on a horse? Yes, please. I'll let you be on the horse. I'm in the cart. Wait, are two people allowed to be on a horse? Uh, no, because... I'm, still, I'm, I'm in the cart, though. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, These so actually... Budweiser horses. <laughs> people riding them, and they're pulling the cart full of whatever. <laughs> That's why it's only one person per, per horse. Okay. Because I don't think that they could double team <laughs> one poor horse. Double team. Nope. One poor horse. Uh, All right. I'm just going to train Remy. You're still going to be training Remy. Remy. Okay, I need you to roll um, animal handling. Oh, yeah, I have to roll for this. And you, uh, what are what are you doing to train Remy? Uh, just like for him to like come back and like sit somewhere specifically. J just for basically him to come back, and if I tell him to like stay somewhere, that he stays there. That's and are you using food of any kind as a motivation? Uh, I do. Have... We still have rotten apples over here. <laughs> I have rations. Are you sure they're? I have rations. I will use a day's worth of rations. Dude, well, you don't have to use a day. Rest. You could just, you know, give treats. All right, so I'll let you roll with advantage. Uh, you would have to get a twelve or better. You got a twenty. You got a nat twenty. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so you knocked it out of the park. You barely had to give him any kind of treat for him to understand and get what it is that you're putting down. Like, hey. I want you to go sit over there and stay. This is a smart rat. He <laughs> can't sit on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Idiot. Yeah. You knocked that out of the park. Sweet. Taking your time and using this, this wisely to train your rat. I would, just, I would like to keep an eye out alongside our path for any herbs that I can add to my kids. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Since you're doing that, go ahead and roll me... Uh, perception to see how well you find any herbs that are along the trail. What did I miss? Oh, you're I'm still looking, napping. I'm <laughs> looking for some greenery. I just see what woke we can up. Find. I just woke up. Oh, seven. Do you have a, a plus to your perception? Like a nature plus or something too, maybe? No, just perception. Oh, I'm sorry. You could either do perception or nature. I have a plus three on perception, so that makes ten. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that that's good enough. All right, go ahead and roll me a D6. Oh, oh. Yep, got to get this some side? of your die out. Yeah, the, the cube. Five. You find five different herbs that oh. you think are, are worth something. So if you want to write that down. Five different herbs. Gorak, what are you doing? Uh, Gorak is riding in the wagon. He is... Uh, purposely spread out as much as he can be, having no consideration for anyone else. And he's just regaling whoever is nearby with the tales of his adventures, you some boy. of which may sound dubious in nature, just the sheer grandiose nature of them. So basically just talking their ear off. Where did we he, find he's, this he's, he's, egocentric little dude? <laughs> so, so basically, he's talking to me, and I want to highly appreciate these stories. Oh, okay, good. Can I hit him with Oh my god. Why are you going to... He's taking the... Stop trying to you kill are napping on a horse currently. Hey, I woke up. Okay, so his his regaling of, of tails woke you up. Are you going to move back there? Don't. What are you trying to do? Oh god. Because <laughs> he's currently talking to Glower right now. I'm currently <laughs> appreciating I'll just stay Go on back to sleep, Chuck <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't bother. All right. So as you guys are making your way, um, I need passive perceptions. Yes, everybody. That's that's ten plus your perception score. Okay, so you said thirteen. Fifteen. Ah, oh, fifteen. Okay. 
No, 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 sweetheart. On your on your sheet. Oh, so uh, I got six. thirteen. So thirteen. Plus your perception. Yes, plus ten. your perception. I got thirteen. Wait, ten plus my two. Perception. So you're ten plus two. Mm. Twelve. I'm thirteen. <laughs> so so fifteen, thirteen is twelve and eleven. All right. So even though you're in the back, kind of sprawled out, um, actually you two would be able to see as well. Yeah. You guys see roughly. 100 feet uh, in front of you, there seems to be a figure just walking, or not walking, but uh, no horse or anything, uh, making their way towards you guys. And you see this figure uh, start to speed up as soon as they recognize that you guys are there. Oh, did I see? Yes. Um, Gorak, Glower, us. as well as Roughnut, you see this figure. What would you guys like to do? They're on the road heading towards you in the direction that you're heading. And when they see so us, they speed up. Yes. And they remember, they're on their, their feet. They sped up. Can we tell the demeanor of this person? Like, are they speeding up, like, excitedly? Or are they speeding up, like, I'm going to paranoid anxiety? Okay, I need you, you three who have seen, to roll me uh, perception. Oh, wait. Roll. Yep. 25. That's your D20. 25. Most times yeah. the D20. Yes. Uh, All right. 18. Nine with a dot. Okay, so add your person. So that's three. 12. All right. So each oh, of you. Shows not a six. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Each of you can tell that this person is, is excitedly running towards you, not in a uh, threatening manner. Wait, okay. Uh, <laughs> Do we so. have fans? <laughs> As you guys are are getting closer to each other, you can tell now that it is a human man, um, cool. and he looks disheveled and horrible. He looks completely Aww. dirty, and he's running up with what looks to be a child's toy in his hands, and he's he's like, oh oh please please you must help me my daughter my I daughter. Take initiative. Say again. Oh, I want to immediately do something. Wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I need you. I need you to to help save my daughter. She was taken, taken from our home. Okay, what would you like to say, Glower, or do? I want to immediately turn the whole car around. We're going. We're going back. No, we are helping him. I want to. ask. Well, you don't have to turn the car around. He's coming towards us. So he came from the direction <laughs> we're going. I want to. Yes. Ask. So we don't have behind us. No, no, he was in front of you coming towards you. Towards us. Oh, then, 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 then we're going to push him. Like, I'm informing you. Where, where was she grabbed and took You want more information? Yes. He'll tell you that she was in their home and hooded figures burst into their home and took her. He oh. was unable to fight them. He's going to tell you that it's roughly eight miles away from where you guys currently are. He's been wandering, trying to find somebody to help. Yeah, guys, I don't think it's worth it. Do you know where they put... <laughs> Are you trying to leave them? But do you know where they, do you know where they took her? Uh, Who took her? Or why they took he, her? He, shook, they it, took her? he you know shook his anything? head and said, just hooded hooded figures. They're, they seem like scoundrels and... and Hooligans. Have they attacked anyone else in your village? He's going to look thoughtful and say, No, I think I think my daughter was the only one to be taken. Gorak emerges from the uh, wagon and says, Well, you're in luck, good man, because fortunately you have come across the greatest hero Faerun has ever known. Oh, oh <laughs> and, and these jabronis who are traveling with him for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Abandon Gorak. <laughs> yes, Gorak. Would, 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 would. <laughs> so, you are. Uh, the, my my rat needs more training, so I'm just gonna keep doing <laughs> training in the back of the wagon. <laughs> I gotta teach him another skill. I want I want to teach him how to like go attack or investigate something. Okay. All right. Since three days had passed, we'll say that your first day was spent doing the one thing. The second day, you're trying uh, this thing. So go ahead and roll again. Oh, yeah. Uh, with advantage. 
Three days have passed. So are we nearing our destination? Three days haven't passed. Oh, I, I failed. Nice. Well, you oh, have advantage, so roll again. I got a 19, and I have a plus one in mind. Yes, so you were successfully yeah, able to train your rat to do the second thing that you're talking about. He's a beast, guys. What did you train him to do? Oh, attack Dispatch. or investigate things. Oh, pick one. Oh. I feel like he's a rat, so I want to go with investigation. Good yeah. call. Yeah. He's going to be like... <laughs> <can't talk> <laughs> and fail. You can't talk to him, though. He can't, but he gets the gist being, I don't know, able Dude. to, yeah, to kind I of show him. 20, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> show him what he'd like to do. All right, so. Is, there, is your daughter, does she have, like, special capabilities, or is there a reason that she would be a target? He's yeah, going to shake his head and say, no, no. Uh, Tanya, Tanya, my sweet Tanya, she's just, <laughs> she's just Tanya. <laughs> I know Tanya. Stop, <laughs> nope, stop, nope. Oh, should I change the name? No, no, it's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's the name of our dad's truck. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. Um, we're gonna change the name then. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Keep going. Tasha. How about Tasha? <laughs> okay, Tasha. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, his sweet Tasha. She she had been taken um in the middle of the night, and he had been raked across the head, and uh woke up, and she was gone. The, we know that the dubiously inflated Gorak wants to help this guy. Uh-huh. Dubiously inflated? Yes. He's quite... Uh, what do you think, Finny? Mm, okay. So, where where did, did, did you see which direction she got taken? He'll tell you that um, he thinks that there's, there's some... Uh, old ruins nearby or or they could possibly be in the uh the whispering woods Ooh. i would like to ask what the whispering woods are oh. <laughs> they whisper oh. <laughs> so do we help are we gonna go that's help like, that's like saying the screaming bird eight miles away. all it does is screams is screaming really, bird is it, is it eight miles to the direction we're trying to go the his house is eight miles away he has been searching long and hard for anybody to help him um, everybody in the village, unfortunately, there's just nobody there who can help. They're all farmers and blacksmiths and things yeah. like that. How long ago was she taken? Uh, 13 years. Last night. So, oh. Oh, that's not like bad. this morning. She could still be alive. And he, he nods his head. Yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm sure. Well, we don't want to give you fake hope because in my experience, you've got maybe 10 hours and then you're gone for <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> can you answer my question now? Which can one? we abandon him? Oh. oh. <laughs> I just want to abandon him. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. He is part of your party now. Plus, okay. I'm pretty sure he would haunt you. We can you. be very rude people, but we can't commit child abandonment. I'm pretty sure he's not a child. He's a grown man. He's taking care of himself. <laughs> okay, but the eagle's week. like a child, so does it really matter? <laughs> One years old. Yes, you are. So I'm wise. Why are we so old? Because <laughs> they're elves. You let him pick No, they're, they're gnomes. Gnomes, apparently. Elves only get to like 600. You can go 350 to 500 years. You ha- yeah, all you right, have to be. Right. Well, I'm yeah, like, that's. I still look good, though. I'm like 20. <laughs> I can live to 600. I'm like 20. Okay. Which means I'm a child in elf. So are we going to go yes. find this girl? Like, yes, I'm sure. Weird. Come on. Tasha? Yes. Fine. Yes. Dis- disgruntedly, yes. I shall go. Fine. Right. Fantastic. Well, Let's follow Mr. Ego and go find well, this girl. What? He has the repeated slights in his ego and his detached from reality uh, perspective. Gorak does walk in front, but as he does, he occasionally flexes. Just to show how pump he is. So, you know what I'm doing before we go to sleep? Unseen servant. I'm gonna buy a tablet. Please, man. dude, come on. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't put the unseen servant. Please, no, please, 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 please. God. I think I'm, we found somebody just as inflated as Glower. Uh, <laughs> no, no, can you I'm do gonna take unseen servant and poke poke his muscles so no, he can sleep. Can you do an unseen servant and just pick and your unseen servant can pick him up and throw him off the cliff and then uh, uh, slide the away? He sounds pretty stacked, like you, Tough Nut. You might be, have to be the one so to do that. So technically, the unseen servant isn't actually... You guys are pretty buff. Yeah, how much, pretty how much drink? Hmm? Uh, okay, when you when you, you look realize, at Gorak... You, wait, what's his race? He's a half-orc. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, he's 
He's, tall. he's, he's heavy. heavy. He's very uh, tall and very girthy. Big. You really squishy if you want to. Or insanely strong. Apple. Sorry. Apple has one pound. No, you found her in years. No. Yeah, and I went and got her. No, no, let up. We go into the ruins with whispering with guys. All right. So, this, this distraught father... Who nobody asked the name of. <laughs> no one cares of the name. No one cares. I'm just going to bring up his daughter. Yes. He, uh, he points you in the direction of the Whispering Woods, and then he points you in the direction of the ruins. Now, those are probably going to be maybe a 30-minute trek uh, off of the horses because you guys cannot bring the, uh, the carts. You would have to leave the cart um, on the side of the road, either tied up, or he he offers to stay with your cart. Yeah, we can't order... put it unattended. Yeah. Yeah, him. but if he can't even protect his child, then how can he protect his Oh, my God. That is a very, very good point. He says <laughs> he says that if you hide him well enough um, off the side behind the tree line he's sure that he can he can keep the horses quiet and and sit there quietly now and wait safe. a minute why are we hiding him shouldn't he hide himself because we're hiding our cart really we're protecting our own and interest also, here i don't trust him because if it, you want to you easy. can roll uh insight for me perfect it's easy to make up a lie and say that can i do that too yes because i got, I got a four Thirteen plus and my insight bonus is, is one. I got, I got seventeen. I got okay. seventeen. So, Glower, no uh, absolutely thinks this guy is the tops. He's like, yeah, yeah, I trust him. I, I have nothing to fear from him. <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> you do now. You DM do now. Says you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tough nut, you get the vibe from this man that he is incredibly desperate to find his daughter. So he is being truthful with you. Mm. Okay. okay, guys, we should all trust him. What the? No. Because you, you guys didn't hear that. Only me. So I'm telling you guys. <laughs> that you trust Only him. me. Okay. You, you were able to pick up from him. I trust Toughnet. Um, you can also tell that this is a man who uses his hands to work. He's probably something of a blacksmith. I want to ask this off you too, Shane. He tells she you, just told you he's a blacksmith. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Korak looks at his companions and says, Friends, let me deal with this. And then he oh, my God. And blacksmith's face and says, in his most threatening voice, no. If any of our stuff is gone, I will find you and smash your skull with my war hammer. Hey, can we, can we <laughs> abandon him? <laughs> no. I want to abandon him so bad. He is looking out for our interests right now. The blacksmith lets out a small, a small whine. And he nods that he understands. <laughs> hey, let's head towards the, the willows or the ruins. I got an idea. Oh, and also I was going to ask. Guidance help us pick a direction? Is, is Ooh, he a I, I, don't, sure. I know what I need to do before we leave. Oh, what? what do you need to I do? I want to leave Remy as surveillance. Oh, my God. You can do is that. you want to leave your invisible friend? Is he on please. Please. Come on. Is he a stealth I need to leave Remy. He is not. He's a human. I'm going to leave Remy with a piece of jerky so he doesn't get hungry. Hmm? Okay. So are you going to talk to the blacksmith at all to let him know that you're leaving Remy? Absolutely not. Remy's there to make sure he doesn't steal things. Gotcha. So (laughs) Remy's just kind of watching out. Yeah. Watching out for number one. (laughs) Okay. You kind of do your little rat language, you know, with him. and and he. Yeah, exactly. He's He gets it. (laughs) All right. Um, so, if you would like to do guidance, whoever is going to be doing the tracking portion. Okay, you both can't raise your hand. <laughs> I say Finny should do it. Thank you. Finny does it. You've done enough. Between, between the two of you, which one do you feel would have more experience in tracking? Finny. Unless Gorak also has experience in tracking. No, Gorak, I swear. Rock. Paper, no, scissors, like shoot. Shoot. Not, shoot. Okay. Shut up, Gorak. Okay. Nobody cares. Scissors, shoot. I hate you. I win. I okay. hate you. Okay. Nobody cares, Gorak. <laughs> so... <laughs> You're being terrible, Tough Knight. I, I know, he's usually so quiet. Gorak's oh, got a 
I'm all stirred up tonight. I was about to say, thanks. I've, thanks, Gorak. I've been drawing my character in all off-brand things. I'm wearing, instead of Nikes, uh, they, their logo is X, and um, instead of a Vans hoodie, it's trucks. <laughs> trucks and Xs. Okay. All right, I suppose... You'll give Glower yes. the, the magic fingers yes. in order to be like, all right. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. You need a pixie dust. Here's some guidance. What does guidance do again? Does it give a it's the D4 or D6? D4. Okay. okay. So roll your D20 in order to okay. roll, um, what's it called? Oh 16. my gosh. Not yours. Survival. Not yours. And then you are to add, yep, your D4. Three. I got a uh, thirty nineteen. Nineteen. Very, very good. I survived. So. <gasps> no, you about them. them. You need a kid. I mean, I would have survived with a sixteen. Just wouldn't been. Like, Looking in both directions that Thank were pointed you. out to you, uh, you're able to see a very faint trail is leading towards the ruins and not towards Whispering Woods. Let's go to the ruins. Yep. Uh, second. What if we go to Whispering Woods? Third. Third. <laughs> What do you decide to tell the party? Uh. <gasps> we can't see what he sees. He's the only one Why who's doing this tracking. Why can't we get a bird glower? Please. <laughs> no, you can't have both of them. This is, this is the I thing. I want to get rid of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Pose. Oh, my God. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm Drop going, them off. I'm going to secretly tell Gora, please, that um the path is... I want to send him down Whispering Woods. Oh my God! <laughs> just, to, <laughs> yes, just, yes. just to make sure we don't miss anything, and then, uh, as I'm gonna guess, he probably just walks off because he's very bloated of himself. And then I'll eventually tell <laughs> the rest of the party where we're actually going. Oh my God! Would you like to roll perception on that? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. So what's going to happen is um, since you're going to try to lie. To Gorak, I need you to roll deception. Deception and perception. And Gorak needs to roll insight. Twelve. And we roll on Glower a lot. That yeah. twenty. <laughs> oh. oh! He sees right yeah. through he calls your. BS. Yes. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I wanted to be your best pal, but you're so bloated. Says, lie to me again, and I'll bite your rat's head. Nobody cares, oh. about, nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about you, girl. Eric, stop. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I care about him. Right? Well, I'll win you guys over. Yes, he's going to work on that. <laughs> as as he scowls at Glower talking about biting his rat's head off. <laughs> We're off to such a great start. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> you won't live more than 12 this, minutes. See, this is oh, my Jesus. Relationships. Thank yeah. you. A toxic yes. one, actually. Nope. No, it, it makes a strong one. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, I, I was talking about before. you and I. With the deception. With the deception found out. Failure. <laughs> Failure to lie, helping Christina. Uh, everybody knows that the place to head towards is the ruins. I feel like they wouldn't be Let's upset at me for that, though. <laughs> I feel like they'd be happy that I at least tried. No. Tasha is not upset at you at all, I don't think. He's very pleased. <laughs> no, despite Gorak being full of himself, I think he's cool. <laughs> but, no, I mean, yeah. he's a cool character. He's just a little too... Shh. That's like, what, don't say again, you. he's got to win you over. Like you? Yeah. <laughs> don't say that to my man. Don't say that to the legend. Kind of. Even what are you doing? We, we didn't know who he was ever. <laughs> he likes to get close to the phone. Uh-huh. He's got a vendetta here. <laughs> he can hear you. He can hear you from over there, too. I'm just letting you know. He's not intimidated by phone. All right. So you guys head in that direction. Uh, Ratless. Stop. As well as uh, without the cart. Um, you've probably been traveling for, what I say, th- it's 30 minutes away? Yeah. All right. You've been traveling for roughly 25 minutes when everybody starts to see, uh, the beginning section of these ruins. Oh. What would you guys like to do once you come upon this area? I think we should slow down. Can we feel magic? You and don't be quiet. Can we, like, feel magic? Ah. Full sprint. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Glower said wait, full wait, sprint. Wait, wait, Are there any squirrels in the nearby area? Please. You want to find some squirrels? I want to tame a squirrel. Oh my god. A 
Well, as as you're walking through this area, uh, it is very sparse in terms of the trees. It doesn't seem like it's as as thickly wooded as possibly the Whispering Woods might be. I should have just lied to you all and said let's go to the Whispering Woods. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Gorak would have been able to find out that, that you were lying. Yep. <laughs> and, and then would Gorak tell us that... And same thing with the rest of the party. Somebody would have been able to figure it out. <laughs> and then... Hey, I have a potion of giant strength. I could What's use that? that and squish Glower. What? I want to bite him. <laughs> what did I just hear? Nothing, honey. No, no, see, here's the issue. I heard something. I don't think we should rush in. I think we should be stealthy and see what we're walking up to. Exactly. I said I want to swirl. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Okay. You go off and find your little squirrel. And then we shall stay and together we are while you get killed to somewhere start else. Scoping out the ruins. I said I'm finding a squirrel might be dying. So, you, mm. we'll say 15 minutes uh, after you guys had left the cart. That's what you were doing. You were pretty much trying to keep up with the group, but also looking around for possible squirrels. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception, oh, yeah. and we'll see what you see. I got a 12, but my perception. Can I roll for anti-squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anti-perception. Anti-perception. I, I got a 15. Can I do that? 15. Um, I as you see him trying to look for signs of life and things, I can... Say that you try to make noise. Would you like to make noise and try to scare away anything oh that God. might be around? We will not world. regret another vermin on our trip. Would, I need wait, no. <laughs> You're going to get rabies. You're calling the squirrels over. I'm going to no. do a squirrel call. A yeah. squirrel call. Wait, does that give me advantage? No, I don't. But like, he asked if you want to make noise and scare off the squirrels. And you called them. Yes, we'd like to make noise and scare off the squirrels. I want to call them (laughs) so Sean can tame. Hey Sean, can you tame a squirrel? Let me make a roll real quick. I mean, you'd you'd have to tame it because you'd have to be the teacher. But yeah, I can't. Uh, Let's see. Nope, that's not my die. Okay, I'm calling on. Eric's calling the squirrels. So does he roll for a squirrel too? No. Um, he's being loud. No, so I'm, I'm calling the squirrels. You don't know squirrel calls. You do know that there is wildlife in this area, but they are nowhere to be found. Uh, I wonder why. Because of me. <laughs> why? What are you doing? <laughs> You're emanating some. Being me, obviously. How do you? How does? How does squirrel not get scared of a smile like that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. She's so, a criminal after all. What? She is a criminal. <laughs> That's how, that's how you guys met. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trading the goods. I just, yeah, she was my herb supplier. <laughs> pixie dust. Yeah. Pixie dust. That's it right, was pixie dust. Pixie dust. So the squirrels run away. Yes. And, and we continue on our journey. Now that you guys are 25 minutes in and you see the area, uh, Roughnut has suggested, as well as Gorak concurring, that you guys should slow down and scout the area. Quietly. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Be all I think, cheese, you know? Hey, Glower. You want to be a team player and send your invisible dude out? <laughs> you want to be like for every day. Okay. Oh. Then hold on. Okay, yeah, wait. but she can. He, he is on the scout. I shall be sending invisible man out. Woo! To scout the things because he's invisible. That's so right. your invisible servant. Yo. What's it called? Unseen. Unseen, unseen servant. servant. All right, so you're going to cast your spell in order to do call need, him forth, right? Do I need to explain how it works for, um... I'm pretty sure Gorak knows more than we do. Well, no, I, but we, I made, the, we made our own things. Oh. And, like, we, we get artistic liberties. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Those you can explain words. what Gorak is seeing, or what your entire party is seeing. So, it's, um, you need a piece of string and a, a thing of uh, wood, a little piece of wood, and so what you do is you wrap the string around the wood, and then you put a little mud on it, which is just for a show. And then you rock it back and forth, and it's like hypnotizing a thing you can't see. Mm. And then it works for you for an hour. Mm. So he's going to be hypnotizing the air. Basically. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. The air and this unseen servant that nobody can see. Um... Gorak asks the others if Glower's touched in the head and why we're waiting for an invisible scout to uh, <laughs> scout for. How long does it take you to cast this spell? Uh, it's it's, like 30 minutes. I mean, no. he is touched it's in the head. However, he, he does have the unseen servant. Oh, okay. 
Okay. It's just as casting time one action. It just gives me like oh, okay. Energy. So it doesn't have an actual time. No. But you can keep this guy around for an hour. Yeah. Okay. As long as he doesn't go 60 feet away from me. Okay. No, so we're not 60 feet away from the ruins. How big is the ruins? I'd, I'd probably say that you guys are roughly 30 feet, feet away from it. How like, big is the ruins? I'm talking like buried Stonehenge or uncovered Stonehenge? Uncovered Stonehenge. Oh, it's pretty big, y'all. Yeah, it's, wanna... it's pretty large. Yeah, but how big? Because Gorak seems extremely doubtful, I want... I like no, Stonehenge. just... I want... I... He's just gonna pick up a few leaves to show in. That's no, all. no. Okay, it's fine. I wanna know how just big proof, because we're... Feet. Wait, he, he may how think big he's a little feet? Delulu, but... <laughs> 30 feet? Okay, so you can just barely... Not it's like 30 there, feet yeah. to, to 30 feet. It's kind of right. squarish. Um, so, so you see, leaves. you see what looks to be the outside walls of, of stone. Um, this building is crumpled. There's no longer any ceiling or roof at all. And towards the middle of this is kind of like an opening that goes underground. Let's go! So as you guys are waiting and being quiet, um, go ahead and roll me stealth. Oh, yeah. Yes, Over. Sir. 19 plus 11. 11. I got dirty 20. 18. Nice. I got, I got 12. 12. I mean, 11. Sorry. Dirty 20. Plus my proficiency? Or? Yeah. Plus your stealth, oh. right? Uh, 13. Okay. So everybody is staying nice and quiet <laughs> back behind the bushes and the tree line. Uh, away from the ruins, you guys again are roughly thirty feet away. You're you're scouting for about five, maybe ten minutes, when all of a sudden, you guys see two hooded figures walk out of the other side of the ruins area. They're just chatting with each other and kind of gesturing like this, and they're walking by, and they kind of stop, turn around, turn the other way, invisible, and then walk by. Side. Going to the opposite side of the ruins. Invisible okay. doodles listening. And then disappear back into that tree line. Invisible doodles listening. What did they say? Oh, okay. Oh. So, since your invisible Ooh. guy <laughs> was over there and just kind of scouting the area, uh, he would have heard whatever conversation they were having. About the weather. <laughs> if it's about the weather... And so, what did you want him to do while he was over there? Well, um, look for any hostiles or any, um, or the, the person that was stolen. Mm -hmm. And since they were hostiles, I figured he'd, like, go check out what they're talking about. Okay. So, as they were passing by him, he stopped long enough just to hear what they were talking about until they left. Mm -hmm. And then he actually went down closer to where the opening of the underground portion was cool. when he made it back to you he tells you that they were just talking about dinner <laughs> and what they might possibly be having Aww. they didn't say child <laughs> that's true they're not eating a child for dinner that's good news for and there wasn't anybody uh at the bottom of the stairwell when he looked down in the ruins yes yes guys this just became an urgent matter we need to rush this place and kill them now because dinner's gonna get cold, and I'd really like to eat it while it's hot. Oh, you want to eat the dinner? Wait, wait, gun, wait. Who are you? Gorax. 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 I I fully agree with Gorax, and I want. I think we both want to charge in. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Finny. Are these guys dangerous? Dude, what, what the, are these the kind of people to attack on sight? Because I was thinking that we might be able to trick them, and oh, and sort of thing. and sort of like take it. And whoever would gladly like to sacrifice themselves to get taken by them of where they might possibly have Tanya, Ta Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. Tasha. Glower, did you want to say something before I? Uh, did we happen to like catch up? They like just people or like what they? I'll were? answer that in just a second. No, they're just. You got the idea from the pattern that they were going that they're probably patrol people. Makes sense. They're sent to kind of walk around and make sure that there's no funny stuff happening outside the yeah, ruins. Yeah, nine to five. I so I say we go and get them in 
can interrogate them. The patrolman? Okay. Um, if you guys me. want to, go ahead and roll. Wait, what's up? Could I actually um, just interject that? Okay, so basically if we do that, our cover is blown. So remember the thing I was saying about like tricking them and how they could possibly bring us to wherever Tasha was being kidnapped and pretend because obviously they might kidnap at us too. So someone could go in and try and see if they bring them to where Tasha is and then the rest are still undercover and then they can kind of go around and scout out. You sure there's that dog? Orcs? Oh, you think they're orcs? I'm not following, yeah. but... Hey, don't, don't stereotype orcs! <laughs> Right, we'll, we'll talk about, about that. Our plan to attack. Okay, are, so, okay, so are we attacking, getting our cover blown, I, or sending a bait? I was we're saying bait, we're baiting. they might be orcs. We're debating. We're so, debating. Um, what I was going to have you guys roll was um, either history or perception. Mm -hmm. Your guys' choice. You roll your d20 and then choose one of those stats. Or skills, excuse me. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And tell me which one you rolled for. Wait. Okay, you went with perception. And... Okay, give me just a second. Uh, Gorak. I'm perception at 17. Okay, remember your stuff. What did you roll, Gorak? 12 perception. Okay, when they passed by, um, not only could you tell that, yes, they were um, hooded figures, uh, patrol people, but you noticed that they were possibly human or elf. And the other one uh, might have been like a goblinoid type of race. Oh, hey. No orcs, I notice. Uh, yeah, neither of them are orcs. Um, who, who else rolled perception? 17. Okay, 17. 14. 14. Just you two. And did you roll perception or did you roll history? History. Okay, so. Well, same here with history, but I only got a 17. They were the All right. same, so. I'm really I dumb at history. Okay, so I'll give you give you guys your history stuff in just a second. Um, for perception, since you rolled uh, better, you would notice that they actually have um, like ceremonial robes on them. Oh. So you would get the idea that they're cultists. Oh God! <gasps> now you wouldn't know this because unfortunately your history was too low, but yours uh, was high enough. I got Again, fifteen. For you to know that, yes, they are Ooh, also cultists. Tricky. Specifically, um, probably part of a death cult? Wait, what's a death cult? Huh? What? Necromancers or just death cult? Yeah, what? like what's necromancers. No! But only he would know that. What's since a you guys... death cult? Like, they're going to sacrifice this little girl. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell... Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't know that yet. Let me tell that to them. Tell okay. Us. Tell us what you know. Oh, I, I told you guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Were you listening because he told you? <laughs> I okay. I no longer care. <laughs> I, I would like... I think we should go with Finney's plan. They're gonna thank you. Thank you. Can I join They're the gonna cult? sacrifice the girl. I'm going to bite your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I got you got the rat well, in my mouth arm. is big I'm, enough to bite your arm off. I'm a girl and I speak goblin. And yeah. I'm you know, like a short person, so maybe they'll think I'm like a kid. So bait me up. Let's go. All right. I wasn't paying attention because Glover was talking to me about his hair. What what was what was Finney's plan? Okay, so my plan was to send someone out of space, sort of like a, oh I don't know where I am, blah blah blah, so that we could sort of trick them into like them kidnapping us so that we could get to where possibly Tasha is. Oh, oh okay. So amongst you guys, home. were you guys planning to do this uh, when the patrol came by, or did you want to do this without them there? I feel like we... waiting for the patrol to come by is the best. Thought. Or... But, like, we plant them beforehand. What if Why we... don't we beat up the patrol, take their clothes, oh my God. and then pretend wear them? Oh, wait a minute. That's smart. Okay. That's an even better idea. No, here's, here's the thing. There's two patrol people and five of us. Yeah. I so said... two of you would have well, we to have go three in. Prisoner. I will gladly be the be one of the people to... Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. Both of us. Okay, so, fine, fine. Hey, I'll be We're a, murdering the cultists. I'll be a prisoner Wait, my... I don't want to murder people in my own cult. Shh. This is not even in your own cult. I'm not You're even a necromancer. I'm joining the death cult. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay. okay. No, Me and Glower I'm are going it. to 
keep you guys have a Gorax plan. Y'all don't know it. Okay, thank yeah, you, Gorax. The, the Gorax. He's too buff for it. Hey. <laughs> You're too like, buff to be a cultist. Let me just inflate the ego. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm That's be, probably true. I'm gonna be a prisoner. So it makes him look so sister. strong. Okay, so the two gnomes are gonna be prisoners, while the two warlocks are going to be cultists. And, <laughs> and uh, then Gorak is going to be doing what during this time? Murdering them. <laughs> come on, come on, you got this, man. Do it. I'll hit them really hard, interrogate them, maybe. I don't know. Uh. What's up, Finny? Um, I would actually like to signal someone in to help me beat up the goblins, because I like this idea of putting on the cloaks and all. I'll do that. So, I'm going to take my sickle out. Who else would you like to come with? No, me! Me! My hand is up first. It can be more than one. Me. Okay, yeah, both of you. Come yeah, on. exactly. All of you can go as a group if you'd like. Okay. Would you like to come with? No, wait, I'll tag I'll... along because you guys need the muscle. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, okay, I'm, so, I'm um, the muscle. Just keep... I'm the muscle, mister. I'll arm wrestle you right now, tough nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, enough with... Okay, please don't start flexing it in front of everybody. Okay, Come on. that person. <laughs> oh. Okay, what? no, no, no. <laughs> He's no. not fat. No. He's extremely That's muscular no, like no. you. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's just, that's his way of of smacking the top. Okay. He's fatter than me. Did he just call me fat? Yeah. I did. All of you know I'm from Goldenfields. I am a vegan. I am licked. You're a vegan? You're a vegan. I have a body chiseled by the gods themselves. (laughs) Okay, shut up. Nobody cares. I'm nobody better than you. Okay, wow. We don't have we a need to calm down. Guys, the patrol is coming. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, I don't have a red, the red marker. I don't have any markers. The patrol is coming. The patrol is coming. Let's get our mess together. Yes, I thank you. Who wants? Oh, We're murdering no. the patrol. They probably I'm heard you guys arguing. We're not murdering them. them. He's going to interrogate them while we go in undercover. We'll blast so he the should probably interrogate them. them first. All right. You guys uh, roll for initiative. Ooh. What's that? First person to go. That's your D20. Is there like an initiative, oh, initiative bonus? Or... Yes. Your initiative bonus is at the top middle right here. Oh, oh so I got a 12. All right. Give me just a moment. Uh, me too. 12. <laughs> one moment, guys. Let me get my is it this one? No, no, it's one. stuff yeah. out so that Gorax I can write some first. things. Hold on, man. I'm just thinking, if you're vegan, <laughs> you can't get but so much protein in your diet. No, that means you, you instantly get powers. It's like if you don't eat oh. eggs, if you don't, that's if how, you don't eat dairy. Works? <laughs> yes, no, no, I'm that, vegan, guys. No, it's, that, it's a superpower. This is Starting this, now. This is a vegan protein shake. Right. Yeah, but did like, you not know that? This is not the real world. This is D and D. I don't think they have vegan protein shakes. I think what you gotta do to eat protein is eat Why are we stuck on his diet? Because we're not actually talking about this in game. <laughs> the patrol is coming. Let's get our mess no. together. You're waiting for the. Um, yeah, you're to... waiting for me. I'm Time's sorry. It's frozen because okay. the DM's doing something. Mm-hmm. It's not our fault. I apologize. I'm trying to get my jank together. Jankiness. The more yep, jank, the better. All my jank. Uh. So much jank. Well, the more jank, the better, you know? The less so jank, the janky. Worse. Hey, do the. I want to check if they have coins on them and steal them. Hold you on, are man. the last person to go, so wait. Yep. We don't know that yet. Actually, we do. Um, Me and Finny got the same no, thing. No, strongest person goes Gorax first. Gorax got the 14. Goes and, uh, whatchamacallit, Tough not got 11. Mm. All right. Um, we're going to go by... By uh, what you call it? So who who got uh, fifteen to twenty? No one. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Correct. Right. All right. Not your turn. Thirteen. So, <laughs> so close. Twelve. Me and Finny both got twelve. All right, now between the two of you, who has the higher dex? Dex, I've got twelve. Wait, where's dex already? Uh, I got fourteen. I got All right, so it's gonna be you. Finny. Finny, and then me. And Short then desk. Glower. I was totally about to do rough with you. Okay, who got eleven? <laughs> me too. That'll be a tough nut. Okay. And then what did you get, she's, rough nut? Not with us. Six. Not, you got a six. Okay. But she's, I'm over here. But she's not with us. 
Yeah. She didn't come and Yeah, she kind of just chilled there. You did? Yeah, she's hiding inside the bushes. Mm. What? She didn't. Yeah, you okay. never said you wanted to go with us, so. Alright, I'm can... chilling. You're just there. Like a <laughs> You're just going to be chilling in the bush. Okay. okay. <laughs> you want to watch the legendary Gorak in Oh, please, uh, please, please, my please. ears. The highlight of my day. <laughs> can, can we dump Bring him? it, Gorak. You can't dump you No, know, sometimes, <laughs> guys, this is why I need a squirrel so the squirrel can get rabies so it can give the rabies to Gorax. You know, sometimes. Gorax is rabies. Yeah, I tried to call them. You guys are so terrible. I tried to call them. I will murder the squirrel. Did I have no remorse. Remy, I don't call Remy, them. Remy's a defense. I scared him away. Yeah, you were too lo loud, unfortunately. You were, you were sometimes Gorax is going to start talking about himself and then so, he's just going to start crying. The two cultists start making their way back. And you guys see them, and you hide in ambush. All right. Now, you guys get a surprise round in, and then we start our actual combat, okay? okay? So, again, these two, these two are walking back towards the ruins, and you guys hide in the trees and in the bushes area. Gorak, you go first out of the surprise round. Yep. All right, as soon as they all walk by, I'll get my two-handed warhammer out and take a swim. Thunk. All right, <laughs> go ahead and roll your attack. That is a... So I add the Warhammer to the dice roll, right? Yes, yeah, so you roll your d20. Yeah. And then you're going to add your strength bonus as well as your proficiency bonus to that. Um, I guess well, I don't know uh, what their health is. He says he's stronger than an 18. Uh, an 18 hits. Okay. Nice. My damage is... D10 plus 4 bludgeoning, so let me put Ooh. Uh, 10 on the nose. Okie dokie. So you come in and swing down with your, is it Warhammer? Yes. And you crack this guy in the side of, in his ribs. Oh. And you can hear some ribs cracking. Oh. <laughs> I'll do a quick flex afterwards. Oh my god. Can I just start crying at this point? <laughs> this is the most obnoxious D&D player ever. And not saying a lot, because I'm here. <laughs> can, can we just ban him from here? Alright, Finny, you're going to go after Gorak. All right, um, I'm going to grab out my sickle and take a slash. It's okay. 1d4, so... You're going to roll to hit first, so you roll your d20. D20? Oh. Because you need to roll to hit. And a 1d4 and a 1d6. Okay, s 7. <laughs> plus what? Well, what's the plus? Your, I believe it's strength, because I don't think it's dexterity. It is Next to your, sink, your sickle, what is your plus? Uh, 3. three. So, so you got a 10 to hit. Three. Yeah, so 10. Um, 10 does not hit. Ugh. So you kind of come out like a little wild and... And unfortunately, you, you get stuck on a tree root. And as you go to slash, you, you miss your target. This is upsetting. This is so embarrassing. So, Blower, you're next. Magic <gasps> equals Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. You're going to so, Eldritch Blast. So roll to hit. 12. And I, have, I add my plus, but I don't have a plus because it's magic. No, you do have a plus to it. What What's your guys' uh, spellcasting... The, the, we don't, we don't is it intelligence pluses. or wisdom? Oh, oh, it's IQ. I kind of wish that there was just a thingy that tells me uh. what. Charisma. You guys use oh, charisma. Oh, 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 oh. Charisma. <laughs> <laughs> charisma is your spell casting you focus. <laughs> we need to. We need to. to res, we need to res our our part potions. Well, then I got, I got a 13. That's what you needed. Hey! Oh. Yep. Okay. I didn't miss my Eldritch Blast. Oh, wait, you yay. did not miss your Eldritch Blast. Yes. Did yes. you hit the one? Hold on. Did you hit the one that, that Gorak hit, or did you hit the other one? Uh, how much damage did Gorak do? Or do I not know? You not, you don't know, but you did hear a crack. I'm, from... bon I'm bonking the one that Gorax hit. Okay, cool. I want to kill him. So go ahead and roll your damage. This is I... a 1d10. I don't remember what a d10 looks like. A d10 is... Is the, the top thing a d10? Yes. I, really I did two damage. Oh. That's right, because you don't add anything to it. Mm. That's not terrible. You did yeah. something. 
I magic it since I got arcane focus. I magic it for my quarter staff, and I put the quarter staff on the ground like I saw him like you shall not pass Gandalf, man. And it nice. shoots out the bolt of the Elder Splash bolt, which hits him. Yeah, it hits him. <laughs> uh, we'll say that it hits him in his arm, in his arm. And it, it feels like he licked a nine volt battery everywhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> He got shocked. Okay. All right. Uh, Tough Nut, it is your turn. Wait, is the other guy dead? No. These dead? two these two Where hooded people are still up. But it's still a surprise attack. So. You guys are still in your surprise round. Mm. Yes. And we'll say that uh, the one that... Gorak, did you aim for the uh, the smaller goblinoid or for the, uh, the bigger humanoid-sized one? Like... Uh, He's either... Gorak always takes out the bigger target first. All right. So the human slash elf, you're not sure which one. Mm. Wait, I don't want to kill an elf. Uh, he already <laughs> did it. He's not dead yet. He's he not ain't dead. He, I ain't dead. Go for the same one that we've gone for. Okay. All right, Tough Nut, which one do you want to do? Battle axe, double hand battle axe, and then I... Towards the taller one? Yeah. All right. The same one they attack. Nice. Go ahead and roll your attack. Boogie boogie. 18. An 18 on the die. 18. Beautiful. You oh. don't even need to add because you already know that you hit him. Ooh. So go Wait, ahead and roll your damage. That's yeah. a plus 5. He did 23. Which one? He's, he's got strength on his side. Which one do yeah. I do? Which one's his damage die? Uh, Does your damage s- die, it's a 1d8, and a 1d8 is... That one. This thing? And 7. Plus Woo-hoo. 5 is... 12. Twelve. Dang. He did twelve damage. You murdered him. <laughs> Maybe. Almost. What? You're Yo, telling me. What? He took, he took a double-handed war hammer, a double-handed war war axe, and a little nine volt battery. And he isn't dead yet. Yep. This guy is still mm-hmm. standing. Yes, a little. Oh, but he looks. He looks really rough for wear. Yeah. You yeah, can if you like... want to. You see your your party over there thwacking away and. <laughs> Yep, shocking people. All right. And the and the two people are still standing. So She's you I didn't kill him. Shocker. <laughs> you hobble your way over real quick. Uh it is your turn if you would like to go. Do you want to stay inside the bushes? I got your back, tough nut. Be guidance or something. Stay inside. Don't attack. You're not a very good attacker. Oh, well, I wish you could try. Okay, I'm just advising. Mm. I'm giving guidance to the guidance giver. Plus three, and I got a plus five, so give me guidance when it's my turn so I can do stuff. I think guidance is only for uh, doing stuff and not attacking. I have potion of What's that? <laughs> she takes this potion and all of a sudden she's really strong. Yeah. <laughs> she gets stonky. <laughs> I get jacked like you. Yeah. <laughs> but you're no longer stout folk. I don't my need guess. that though. I don't need it. We're good. You're, I'll you're, just, wait, I'll just attack him with my uh, like something. If you take the potion of strength. Oh. Are you going to attack uh, the one who's been attacked thus far? Oh, is the other one perfectly fine? Yeah, yeah. this one has not but taken any can, damage yet. If we can kill can I just hit him with my crossbow from the bushes? Yeah, Wait, that's a thing. That way oh. I don't even have to, like, come out of hiding yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. It's I can a, stick the bigger stay with my herb kit in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I'm going to stay in the bushes. <laughs> I'm chilling, man. <laughs> no, it's the, it's the He's almost dead. If roll, we, if we kill roll your D20. Whatever it is, I'm hitting something with my crossbow. I, I hit got you. Crossbow? He wants to hit the bigger dude. You got eight. I don't think you hit. What's your oh, to add? three. You got 11. 11. 11. Unfortunately, your chilling mode in the bushes <laughs> has got you too much. <laughs> and so chilling. you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> the last moment you kind of move a little too much to the left. I'm staying in the bushes, y'all. All right, so that is the surprise round over. Oh, God. Okay. All right. <laughs> now the cultists are attacking as they will do. Uh-huh. The All right, Gorak. Just need to stop looking at other people's stuff, man. <laughs> Mr. Flashy dude. All looking at my, my work. Look at seat over here next week. Right? We're like, go sit over there. You need to stop. Stop with yourself. All right. So, um, these two cultists, they're shocked. They're looking at everybody, and, and you guys are... Are smacking them and shocking them and, and all this like, all thunk, manner of stuff. Thunk, the thunk. the larger humanoid is going to try and attack the people closest to him uh, with his dagger. That's one of y'all two, Gorak. He's oh. gonna swing. Uh, let's see, attack probably at Gorak, Gorak first. Oh. Yes. And... He can't attack twice. 
Actually, this guy can. Yo, what? Yeah. He makes two attacks, but you don't know that. Um. You just better beat the heck out of you, that's all. So, an 18 to hit you, Gorak. Right on the nose. You've got really high AC. I forgot about that. But that's good, what? though. Yeah, he, he's got he's got lots of stonky stuff. Don't attack Gorak. Got that. Don't attack Gorak. <laughs> well, this guy did. And he's he my best friend, Gorak. Uh, let's see. What's the damage? Gorak. I haven't found him on the nose. Like, is it saying you hit him on the nose? I'm confused. It's that so, means that it's his AC. I know. Right I'm on saying, the nose. Oh, oh, sorry. Wait, when he said that, I was like, <laughs> wait, did he hit him on the nose? All right, you will take uh, three points of piercing damage. <laughs> oh. From this measly stabby stab of a dagger. And this guy, he's he's crazed. The look in his eyes. He's he's dying. He's not feeling so great. He's gonna try and take a swing at you, uh, Tough Nut. Oh. Because Tough Nut is near him as well. Tough Nut don't feel so good, Mr. Star. What's up, baby? Alright, so that's going to be a sixteen to hit you. Does a sixteen hit you? Where do I check that? I have resistance. Does that do anything for him? No. It's your AC right no. here, right on the nose. Oh, so it is a 16. So this means that it hits you. Oh. If he gets a 16 or better, it hits your AC. So Man. his his attack hit lands. Mm. All right. So he wildly swings at you and is able to connect. You take, what's this? Four points of piercing damage. Four? Four, Four. my dude. Wow. Yep, so go ahead and mark off four points. Subtract it. Now that nine. Yeah. From your hit points. Donk. And again, this guy is, is just kind of craziness. The second cultist, seeing that his friend is, is getting stabbed and bashed and just shocked, he's going to try and make a run for it. Ah! That means That means that the two closest people... Because you, what did you use? Um, wait, what? Oh, my sickle. So you're up close. Okay, so you are with, within five feet of I, them um, as well. Um, I just blasted them. You're the one, me. yeah, so you're not within, what you call it. Oh, Gorak, uh, Finny, as well as Tough Nut, the three of you are able to make attacks of opportunity. <laughs> because this cultist is trying to get out of the space. Battle act. Oh, so go ahead and roll your attacks and tell me whether or not you hit. Or I'll tell you whether or not you hit. And for me. I missed. That's a miss. What did you get? You got a nat one. You also miss. What did you, you get? You got an eight. But you got two. Did you, that's a ten. Did you not add? Oh, okay. Wait, no. That's three. It's an eleven. Still a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. So all three of you... Um, surprised by his immediate reaction to Bolt, the three of you miss, and he slips past the three of you. I think I know what, what we should I do. I want to shoot him in the back. We should kill the other you can't. The big guy, it's not and your then turn. just charge him straight. Charge down the ruin tunnel, and just... Oh, we gotta get the other cold armor. Now, this guy is running. You know exactly where he's running, because he's running towards the ruins... So he made it past you guys. He made it past you guys. Um, That is their turn. Gorak, it is currently your turn. You see the one cult has bolt past you. And so he's he's booking. What would you like to do? Caution for the team. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the one I hit last time. (laughs) All right, go ahead and uh, roll your attack. Uh, Well, now our cover's blown. (laughs) Not yet. That hits. If I can zap the heck out of him. Yeah, this guy is still, he's still within eye shot. He hasn't. He's his max health. Uh, eight damage. All right, how do you want to kill this guy? Just bash his skull in. So that's what you see. Gorak goes in with a hefty blow and cracks his head open and the guy falls limp. Yo, what? That was Gorak's turn. Now it is Finny. Good job, Gorak. The one, the one in front of, of you guys, dead. But you do see the one that bolted. And he's roughly 30 feet away from you. Okay. To- running back towards the... Uh, oh, the blast. The what you call it. So I can't yes. run after him. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, okay. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. What's, I'll do your, it. what's your movement? My movement? Yes. Uh, you can 30, move 30, feet. 30 feet speed. 
Okay, so if you want to, what you can do is move your entire movement to catch up to this guy. And then attack? Is that your, like, whole turn? That's, that's only the movement that you've used, but okay. uh, Finny would have not used their action yet, or bonus action. Oh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'd like to run after him with my sickle. So once you once you get up, <laughs> gonna, him, gonna, you're gonna get up behind, you're gonna like get up behind him with like the little hoop here, and then <laughs> okay, and you're gonna try and attack with your sickle. Yeah. Go ahead and roll to attack. Here. Yeah. Okay. My God. Did, oh God. Okay. Just I roll, roll again. Roll, okay. Wait, wait. Was it cocked? Why? Oh, cause I tried reaching under here, but then it turned. It bonanza. Okay, yeah. then don't throw it under here. Throw it yeah. there. Yeah, um, I didn't mean to. Don't. Thirteen. He hit. Thirteen. All right, I made roll it? your damage. I made it. Oh, wait. Um, 1d4. 1d4, thank you. This is this thing. Oh, that's yeah. four. 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 <laughs> you have to add Actually, your... Uh... Wait, add my... Oh, plus three. Oh. Seven. Seven? seven? Yeah, seven damage. Seven. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. so you guys see Finny chase after the other cultist. <laughs> Can you... Yeah. There I you go, it. thank you. <laughs> cool. Bebe... Bebe? He's probably in the garage somewhere. He's not over there. Okay. Kind of strange. Anyway, um, you guys see Finny run after the other cultist and successfully swipe at this guy with the uh, with their sickle. Ooh. Now, this one's smaller. Very, like I said, goblin looking. My guess is it'll take less <coughs> damage to kill him. Now, uh, that was Finny's turn. Mm-hmm. Now it's Glower, or Glower. Saying glower. 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 So, I have 35 movement speed. So I'm over there in a GIF. And, um... You don't have to move if you don't want to. But I'm gonna. Okay, so you're <laughs> gonna get in close. And I'm going to... Can I have three daggers? Can I only use one? I can't dual wield them because of single-handed weapons. What? We'll have to talk about that because you can dual wield, but you have to sacrifice something. Okay. Well, I don't have a... I'm using my bonus action to attack, so I can only use one. So, uh, I'm gonna stab him with my dagger. Let's see if I... What are you using for your action? I ran. Is that an action? That's not an action. That's your <gasps> movements. No, but you can still use your roll. So, I can do an action and bonus action, right? Yes. So, I'm gonna use my quarter staff to dual-handed bonk him on the head. Oh, so you're not going to use the daggers then. You're just going to use your quarter staff. Yep, it does more damage. All right, so roll to attack. Got 14, so I hit. And now I roll 1d8, which is this weird looking thing. Because 6 is one handed and 8 is dual. Or yeah. two hands. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I got a 2 plus mm-hmm. 3, so that's 5. All right, so you do 5 points of damage with your Bunk. quarter staff. Smack him on the head. All right. Is he dead That yet? was Glover. No, he is not. Uh, Did everybody take a turn already? Not yet. It's Tough Nuts' okay. turn. How Come on, Bubba. How far is Get he him. from me? How far is he from me? 30 feet. 30 feet away from where the dead guy is and where you were. You can't sprint over there. No, I can't. Oh, because you only got 25 movement? So like you can't. Oh, nice. Good call. All right. So you, you go ahead and sheathe your, what is it, like, Warhammer like or War crossbow. Battle Axe? He's crossbow. What do you I have? can't remember. What what type of weapon do you have that's not the crossbow? Oh, Battle Axe. Battle Axe. That's what I thought. You go ahead and sling your Battle Axe across your back and pull out your crossbow. You go ahead and roll. It was mom. Oh, are you texting me? Sorry. Oh, why are you looking at my phone? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what'd you roll to hit? Oh, no, I, I just sent you a meme. What's, oh. that, what's that look like? I can't tell because I'm too far away. Oh, that's a 20. You got a nat 20? You got crit, man. Gosh. So, Ooh. what that means is that the way that I do crits is that you get max damage on your die. So, what do you use? Uh, what die do you use for the damage? 1d8. So, you get 8 points and then roll your, God bless you, roll your die again. God bless you. No, 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 your, your damage die. Your damage die. Yeah. Three. So, eight plus three. Eleven. Plus whatever. Three. Plus three. 
There's 14. So you did 14 points of damage, my dude. Yay. He gotta be dead. I swear. <laughs> still running. I don't think he's dead yet. Hold on. He's still standing. I'll shoot him from the bushes. I got some wiggly knees. <laughs> he'll, 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 he'll miss it. He'll miss it again. Got, like, I had a snack and some water. I'm feeling better. Yeah, how, how much? Sprint. How much like, if you can't knees. sprint, run. Don't if work, you cannot please. run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. Hey, if you cannot walk, I mean, if you cannot crawl, fly. I think I cannot do everything you can do to get away from this body. Oh, uh, it will kill you. I had 20. Yeah, but you used one. Let's yeah. try and. Also, All right, uh, this guy's looking incredibly rough. Yes. All right, incredibly rough. Truly so, rough. since that was your turn, Tough Nut, Rough Nut, it is yours. Can he, like, stop running now? Can he, like, only walk? Now he's full sprinting. Yeah, he, he's still trying to get to the, the ruins. He's trying it to It is your turn. Uh, you're still in the bushes hidden. Yeah, man. All right. I'm shooting him with my crossbow. <laughs> He's counting out his words. Good deal, man. Good deal. <laughs> Is crossbow one word? Twenty. 20! You 20! got a nap, freaking twenty. All right, all right. So how? Wait, wait, you know, <laughs> See, this two. is the type of stuff I look for. Plus my three. Twenty. Plus my eight. So eight plus seven plus three. Eight. No, twenty plus seven plus three. No. It's this. <laughs> this? <laughs> she said 20. Seven, seven. Where's the 8 coming from? 1d8. So you get max 1 on this die. Because you roll a nat 18, 20. 18 points. Oh. So when you roll a nat 18? 20, it means that you literally crit. You you have a critical hit. Oh, that's what you were talking about. You, that I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Exactly. He rolled a nat 20 as well. So how did you want... This dude to die because your kill your blow was the well, uh, killing blow. Flashy about it, <laughs> but I'm shooting him with a crossbow from the bushes. Yeah, you are. are. And you do, yeah. do, do like multiple like... ricochets into his <laughs> head. <laughs> 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 this is a no, banana it's Joe. It's a, it's a, 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 are you singing banana <laughs> Joe while you're? <laughs> pocket and shoot it like a quick draw mm. all right guys so your your crossbow bolt well, we'll say that it, it actually pierces him in the throat yes, i was Ooh. aiming for a freckle on the side of his neck and you? you got it you, you got that dead? freckle it's you're dead. the best he's dead. he's dead he falls to the ground Wait, um, i just shot your melanoma you're welcome <laughs> You have a 1 out of 20 chance of being the best oh dermatologist in the world. He's dead! He's dead! Oh my Jesus. We can't come, Bo. So, both of these cultists are dead. They're on the ground. Yes, Glower. So, um, you know, so remember Vinny's original plan. This was dead. <laughs> remember, remember, um, the first guy we killed is like, uh, human or elvish? Yeah. Yes. Pockets for coins. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go take his cloak. Because you get the tiny Ooh. goblin one. I'm only 5'5". Five yes. five. Yes. I'm immediately I'll, taking his cloak. I want an investigation. I look better in all the size clothes, thank you. Stuff inside his pockets, you know, coins. I'm six okay, so you want to no. search his body for yes. some loot? All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm six foot. I want some loot. <laughs> All right. So since something. you're searching the one, the smaller goblinoid, um, go ahead and roll me a d6. Dust. Glower, you took Which his cloak, but are you searching him? Which one? Uh, d6 is cool. the one that looks like a cube. I'm taking his cloak. Okay, so can I search oh. the cloak after I take it? Like, go through the pockets. Like, does it have pockets? Because these yeah. cloaks are practical. You got it too. <laughs> no, yes. the cloak doesn't have pockets in it. It's just a cloak. Okay, I'm gonna loot the man while I get the cloak. All right, roll me a d a d six. But I'm getting oh d six. I'm getting the cloak anyways though. Uh, I got a four. Tough night. You find twenty silver pieces. Twenty. Yes. Mm. Uh, Glower, you find forty silver. I got forty silver. Yes, you do. He's got forty silver on his on his uh -huh. person. L, L couldn't be making I got silver 28 else. silver. And you also find... Hit on 40. Um, we'll say that it was on the elf. 
because he is an elf. Um, Wait, he's not yes. play W. Wait, so, I killed an elf. I want to go somewhere where I can, like, what sell, my, sell my jam. Finny and then Pretend call outfit. Make sure, make okay, sure you make once you guys get back to... Or something. Once you guys no, get back to like uh, a town, okay. then you can probably no, look okay. into the jeweler, jewelers. Okay. Alright, yeah. once you guys uh, go searching... Not only did you find 40 silver on this uh, dead elf, but you also find some literature. What's that? Uh, like a pamphlet, a flyer. Nice. Reading things. Yeah, stuff that, that has to be read. Can I read it? I, um, I found it. It's currently on him and not the goblin. Can you give it to me? I'm a good reader. <laughs> I'm a better reader than so, you. So, um, is there anything else I need to know or just reading things? Past time. It's just, it, it talks about the death cult and, and wanting to bring about something. You're not sure what. So, it's um, kind of like change. You're it, not sure if it's for the better, though. Is this is like a door to door I'm going to um, recruiting cultism people? Like the, I'm just gonna, like I'm just gonna put this in my, uh, in my merce, my crossbody <gasps> merce. Put it in the bag of holding. It's mine. <laughs> if he wants to put his pamphlet in his merce, he could do that. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Oh, no. Now that I'm you guys uh, currently have, <laughs> it's like still a how-to guide. No, it's just kind of like a calling all people, Penny, you people you who are interested in, in joining, a, kind of a thing, a like Penny, recruiting, a recruiting call documents. Call it's not a how-to guide. No, it's not a how-to. Does this mean I can join the desk cult? Who is wearing the cloaks? Me. Them. So Finny and Glower. Okay. Us in for, as prisoners. That's right. All right. So after looting these dead bodies and <laughs> procuring their their coats or their cloaks, is he gonna be a prisoner too? Um, we talked about this. Gorak, what are you going to be doing? Well, I, I was planning to interrogate those guys, but since they're dead, I guess I'll be a prisoner. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no! Uh, oh, don't no. Don't be afraid to rough me up, to hit me, make it look real. Uh, <laughs> oh, but you, no. But you guys got to you guys, you kind of use rope to, like, tie us You up. threatened <laughs> Remy Jockness ta- uh, uh, Templeton earlier. <laughs> I think I'm going to be the person to rough you up. <laughs> or if you can make it easier, make me bite him. You're gonna bite him. <laughs> bite him. <laughs> no. no. All right. So, uh, once you guys got uh, changed into the cloaks and stuff, what are you doing with the bodies? Oh, Scheiser. Um, put them in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since you can make it out the bushes, they can put the bodies in. Excellent put the bodies idea. In the bushes. Can we, can we not do like it's like Skyrim with Caleb? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We know what you did. No. no bodies in the did. bushes. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> Jesus, I'm Mary and Joseph. Are you, okay? are you all right, my dude? Oh my god. <laughs> Just a little concussion. He'll be all right. Oh god. Well, I, I, He's having too much fun with I your was, mama singing. <laughs> well, I, I let the body get the fun. <laughs> you sure did. You did. I'm a good barrier. Inspiration. Would you like to bury a body? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't have time for that. So you just <laughs> you just pile them on top of each other behind a bush, so they're they're hidden and not buried. Fine, okay, I can deal with that. Wait, can I burn them for soot? Oh my god. Later, just oh. not currently, because if you set a fire now, Smoke. what could possibly happen? Yeah. <laughs> There's possibly been. We will alert people cult. to our whereabouts. Oh, I wasn't Let's worried about that. Let's just stash the bodies and get on with it before they fall. Fine. We're exactly. off. Come on. We're off. We're off. We're off. We All right. Oh wait, I gotta rough them up. What was your plan? Oh my my plan it? was to just trudge down the stairs and to you know hold my battle axe. Like... No. Charge and just no. wait we until you can beat somebody up. So, yeah, but that was, I'm. I'm that was roughing you up. You. I'm roughing you up, and that that's what's happening. So, uh, I'm gonna... Yes, Finny. I will kindly trip you and bite all of them softly so that they at least look like they got roughed up, and you can have your fun with Gorak, I guess. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I won't hurt you guys. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... So you, you lean down and grab a handful of dirt and kind of smudge it around their faces a little bit and on their, their clothing and such to make them look like they That's had been wrong. roughed up. <laughs> yep, so, um, you even bit them around gently. the dirt Sorry. so that there is a bite mark, oh, but it oh, actually yeah. didn't do any damage. So... Yeah. What I'm going to do is take a lump of dirt and chuck it at Gorox's face, <laughs> and another one at his right arm, and then <laughs> a last one in be- like in between his left arm and his chest. Okay. And then I'm going to take my quarter staff and like with a blunt end of it, stab it into his stomach, <laughs> and and then finally, finally, I'm going to take my dagger and with like the like with the metal backing of it. Hit him on the head. Oh my god. Twice. <laughs> Alright, so you're just trying to make it look like he's beat up. Uh, the, the most oh, beat up only out, out of all of Yes. Oh. <laughs> you're not trying to actually beat him up. What do you think you were doing? Misunderstood the assignment. He's threatening my rat. <laughs> so what? It's not your child. He said... Says who? Gorak looks unimpressed and says, You call that roughing up? And then shoves his hand into the own stab wound that he took earlier. Oh... Oh, man. <laughs> God, man. Stop. <laughs> Look at a squirt on my face. All right, Gorax, how much damage are you taking now? Gorax's been a matter of kids. You just, uh, <laughs> you, just, you just reach into your own body and rip something out. I think. Uh-huh. He's just much, making himself more bloody. How much damage are you about to take, my friend? No. He, no, just, he just smeared more blood around just to make it look like he's more damaged. He's not. All right, so with your three prisoners, the two hooded figures now venture towards the dark. Wait, I can just take my purge mask off and be completely invisible. Are they not going to use rope to, like, tie our hands together? No, like, um... Yes, we look like prisoners. Sure, we'll do that. We'll use... We have 50 foot of rope, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to tie your hands together, and I'm going to tie Gorax's... I'm going to hog tie Gorax. (laughs) Okay. Should we be ready to fight if maybe? Yeah, you can't tie his feet together. We might need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just tie, loosely tie the arms to make it look good. No, you know like the start of a knot? We just do that. Okay. So like okay. if you just pull your arms apart, it just falls right off. There yeah. you go. So cool. surprise, you're not really tied up. And making it down to the bottom of these steps. Uh, you don't currently see anybody posted, and there seems to be a little bit of a hallway from, from the bottom. Yes? I want to look for any, uh, literature or anything that I could use on the death cult. You don't look Perception. And are the prisoners in front? Uh, they are One in guard yes. in front, one guard, or one cultist in front. I will gladly be okay. in front. All right. Cool, I get more time to check out. Are you going to roll perception? Yes. Because you're looking around for some. Eight, but my perception, I got a 12. No. Now, walking uh, down 11. into this, this bottom nah. area, 11. you guys uh, smell that it's very musty down here and musty, very musty, musty. old. There doesn't seem to be a lot of lights either. Uh, does anybody not have dark vision? No, uh, oh, yeah. Borax might. Not. No, he's an he's an orc. He's got dark vision. Okay, we all have dark vision. <clears throat> <Yeah>. Nice. Okay. <coughs> we can all have all of you can eyes. see in in very dim light. So coming down this area, you don't spot anybody, nor do you spot any areas to go to aside from the long dark hallway. And I think that's probably where we're gonna end it tonight. Really? Yeah, because yeah. you guys got like at the precipice of the long dark hallway. Yeah, Aww. you guys got less than fifteen minutes before you gotta, gotta get go. ready, go to bed, and junk. I so I think that's probably a good place to stop it.